What's going on, Phobos? How are you doing? I actually have something special for you, Phobos. So, I already cracked open a cold one today. Meaning we won't be able to crack open a cold one together. So I don't have cracking open a cold one ASMR for you guys, though. What we do have is something more special. We have here a blower pipe, a blower and heat pipe solution, an assembly that I took out of one of the laptops that I was working on when I was moving things around and trying to combine the best parts. Like, I basically turned six crappy laptops into two okay work laptops, and so I end up with some leftover parts. And while we can't do cracking open a cold one ASMR, we can do PC blower fan ASMR. So let me turn the filter off. Those of you on headphones, I advise you to turn your volume down now. Those of you with nice bassy speakers and subwoofers that you got from Bose for $100 when you could have gotten the Pebbles for 20 It's okay, Phobos, you're just better than me. Those of you with those setups, though, you guys turn it up. Because you know what's coming next. And this is a can of compressed air. After I use this can of compressed air, I'm going to invest in one of those like electronic systems. That way I stop polluting our Mother Earth. One more? Sure. And to give you one with the actual air facing you guys. The fan picked the straw. I have this like really small one that came out of a different laptop or maybe an old Android like power tablet or something. This one's even better. Because you can enter it from the front, which means you can get directly to the paddles for the fan. Oh man, I really hope this dude messages me back about that Elgato. I would love a hundred dollar Elgato. So Phobos, the Sapporo Black, it is a stout. It's a very light stout, but it is just a stout. Um, as a Schwarzbier, or whatever it is that you say it in German. It's definitely a stout. We would like to be able to display the FPS. The FPS is not like a flex or something, like, Oh, look at me, FPS I got in Black Mesa. It's not important. What it does do is, since I don't have another monitor here, it'll let us know if it starts going down. I know we're starting to throttle, which means we need to turn our stuff down. Hello there. It won't be that bad. Now, if I can remember where those settings are. Yeah, there we go. Shout out to Tim for teaching me that this was actually a thing you could do. I didn't know. So if someone wants to keep an eye out on the FPS out counter up in the top left corner, let us know if it dips down below like 50. That's how we know we're in trouble. All right. Otherwise, we're fine. Look at the uncapped frame rate. Oh, on a on a source game. Oh my gosh. You know, some people would kill for that performance, Maestro. In fact, I'm hoping the computer that I'm building will cost about three to four hundred dollars and it'll be able to do the same thing that I'm doing now, except not streaming and recording it simultaneously. And if the quality and everything looks good for you guys, let's continue. This will be posted to YouTube at a later date at a much higher quality than it is able to be streamed, just so we can archive our time together. State computer science at UMass Amherst. Nice. It was back in the 90s. So you went from PC building to the IT interest. I didn't realize that. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I have the volume adjusted correctly for the game. If we play a little bit, you know what, let's do some test gunshots. If it's too loud or too quiet or just right for you guys, let me know. Test fire one, test fire two, test fire rapid fire. That number is so small, I can barely see it. That is a good point, Maestro. You, you are not lying. However, I don't think I can make it any bigger, so I believe the only thing we can do Yeah, there's no like make it bigger option or anything The only thing we could really do in that case is It's got three digits, right? If you see it go to two digits, then, then start yelling <laughs> That's pretty much the only thing you can probably count on don't worry, I'm not actually asking anyone for help to do that. I can do that on my own. Oh my gosh, that is not the right DPI. I can still hear, not loud enough. <laughs> that's important, Cisco engineer. That's still stuff. Oh yeah, I saw your... When I went on your Instagram, I was like, yeah. 
if CB wasn't married, he would totally be getting laid because he's got his, um, his uh, uh, is it Pia or Tia or Pia? I was like, he's got his certifications posted up on his Instagram, like front and center. I was like, yeah, this dude, this guy has sex. This is coming from someone who excels in programming computer science, but could not get a CompTIA cert to save my life. Like, literally, I failed so many CompTIA certs, I could not even... I can't even explain it. Some people are just not good at things. And some people are better at things than others. AJ, did they send you back to work yet? Oh, whoa, whoa, hey, I remember you from the first game. Well, you weren't a woman back then, but still. I can't close that door. Oh, that's a lot of y'all. Uh-oh, gotta save her. I did it. I saved the fellow scientist. You know, just like the original Half-Life, for whatever reason, the music volume is way too imbalanced, and I don't know why. They always think that's like a great idea. Nah, there is no safe haven. That's why you need to grab a pistol to make yourself useful. I said it in Call of War as, I'll say it again here. There are very few circumstances where that statement stops being true. Hello. I remember this room, like this old freezer section in the original game being so icy and white that it almost looked like these things were slowing down as they were walking towards her. But really, it was just my, like, 15 frames that I was playing on my laptop that made them look very slow with all of the render of, like, the, uh, the light reflecting inside of the freezer because it was, like, all whitish. I'm still trying to find, like, a proper DPI for this so we're not, like, shaking around so much. I think this one will work, and this will keep people from getting headaches. You're off today, though? That's good. That's good. What are you playing, AJ, and why is it not Born Supremacy? Why is it not Massaging Q's Feet Simulator? Ugh, can you imagine? Foot Massage Simulator? Also, I swear there is there's not ammo up there. It's a little light that's at the top of the forklift. <laughs> Arbiter, how will we reach the heretic? Those pallets, I'm going to stack them. Wait a minute, what? Oh, this is blocked on this side. I thought I just couldn't reach the switch. Well, into the vents we go. Which was pretty cool because... Okay, I want to explain something that I think is correct. I might be wrong about. In the original game, I think you were actually able to walk through this section without needing to go up in the ceiling. But then you got to a dead end in the freezer. You fought a few things, but you got to a dead end eventually. And you couldn't see anywhere to go, but little holes and stuff in the ceiling. And that's when you kind of figured out, like, oh, I need to find a way to get up. Whereas here, it looks like we're kind of immediately on the uptake. And I don't think that the traversal was as smooth back then, either. Why do I feel like my neck is strained looking up when really I'm not looking up in the game? Am I getting that immersed? Yeah, I don't think the... because the floor was more open and the ceiling was less tight with its assets, I think you actually uh, had a lot more... You had a lot more, like, um, bridges up top and not just jumping in and out of vents. Oh! Jeez. Can't move fast enough to get past the acid. Maybe I should just jump down. I might have a better time dodging like this. Ah! Also, the other thing, presentation-wise, when you came down here the first time, this bull squid wasn't just chilling out here ready to shoot at you with its goop. It was actually, like, sitting here uh, consuming these bodies and eating them up. So it gave it, like, a little bit of the world-building... Um, kind of scripted story and encounter experience thing. And then there was this whole, like, cutscene where you saw some dude getting pulled into there or something. Actually, I might be misremembering that. I don't remember for that one. 
But in any case, there's a lot of dead people, and you can see that a lot of people went to the freezer uh, trying to find a safe haven. And apparently we can't open up the previous paths? So, okay, whatever. Checked out, the budget parts look nice. Right? Oh, this is the thing that a valve goes into. So this is one of those... I think we'll be able to build someone a pretty decent system. The thing is, Wesley, I'm gonna mess up the budget on RAM and the GPU, if I'm not careful. Because that system and that CPU is are going to pair well with a 1650 Super, which we can find for about 150. Or we could cheap out and just do like a 50 to 60 dollar GPU and not get 1650 graphics performance. But it'd be so cool, right? But it depends on what kind of budget we can spend on the parts. Is how that's gonna work. And who we're giving away to and what they actually need. I have one dude in mind that's always needed a gaming PC and has never really had the scruples to put it together. And he's been with me since the beginning. So <laughs> what? what was the point of that? I just came back where I started. I didn't do anything. Begging for donations and subs. That's right, Hypnotic. I've found the secret to success. The secret to success is asking other people to give it to you. How you doing, Hypnotic? Also, I don't feel bad about that, because you know me, and you know that I'm not asking for that for myself. One, I'm covering the cost of the entire computer and the shipping by myself already. This is just me supplementing the cost. Two, so, oh yeah, do you, do I need your help for anything? You actually don't talk. She, she, alright, so when you hit the button, she actually has like a little facial jump, like her character model goes towards you. But she doesn't have any words to say. Maybe she's traumatized from the killing. Maybe she doesn't want to be trapped in here like we are. I don't know. What's up with that? Maybe it's the cold. Maybe the cold's got her. I keep getting stuck in little parts of the geometry on here, and I don't know what to do about that. I also don't know why we're not getting any power here. What I'm assuming is that we need to go back and put a cog, or like a valve wheel, into that piece of wall that we saw earlier. And I'm guessing we need to use that in order to get power up so we can open all these doors. I don't think that's how the original game went, but I also might not remember correctly. The other thing is, like, Black Mesa itself has gone through some changes, so even if you remember something from Black Mesa... There's no guarantee that it's the same thing, though I doubt that's one thing that changed, but it certainly is possible. Alright, so it looks like we have the same platform uh, puzzling to do as in the original game. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you guys remember if there was battery power? Oh, hey, there's the thing. Do you guys remember if there was battery power that we needed for the flashlight in the original game? I mean, you had a temporary battery in Half-Life 2, but it wasn't tied to, like, your suit battery. I remember watching some review, and some guy was acting as if you needed suit battery to power the flashlight. And I was like, I don't remember that. And I watched that YouTube review, and I was like, yeah, dude, I don't, I don't think that happened. But a Valve in a Valve game, who can even see that coming? To their credit, Valve didn't do this. Whoever is in charge of the Black Mesa development did this. Because they're like, yeah, Valve is the best, Gaber, Lord Gaber. Do ah. you guys think it's funny how sensationalized some game devs have become? I mean, it's cool. If some dude, you know, or woman, like Amy Hennig, did all that writing for Soul Reaver, I'll never stop talking about that. But, like, when people get praised for their strides in the development world, I think that's pretty cool, but it's also crazy to me that we can see game developers becoming as famous as sports stars and Hollywood actors and actresses. Dudes like Cliffy B. I don't remember the guy's name, but the guy that was the lead programmer for the first Jack and Daxter that figured out the algorithm he needed to do the seamless map transitions. And in order to do it, he wrote his own entire language for that game's engine. And he was just like, yeah, I just modified language and wrote it my own thing. Like, he was just so chill about it, and I was like, yo, this man is a genius. 
That dude, that dude deserves some laurels and accolades. If I ever get to be in charge of the Jack and Dexter remake, I hear something really bad breathing in here. And I know something wants to kill me, but I have no idea where it is. There it is. But yeah, if I ever get to do the Jack and Dexter remastered full quadrilogy. Quadrology? Quintology? I don't know. The collection. The Jack and Dexter remaster collection. I will make sure to put hella credits and easter eggs in for that dude. I don't even remember his name, that's what I mean. That guy should be way more famous. Is this thing going to deploy its tongue or what? It's a barnacle that doesn't want to barnacleize. That's strange. Huh. Also, what do I do here? Because... I don't think I can actually go anywhere. Oh wait, there we go. Now this barnacle will be barnacling. Yeah, that's, that's stupid. Hypnotic, how are you doing, by the way? Also, Hypnotic, did you see you failed? You didn't do anything to Future. Future survived. Future wasn't even sick. He just had... Oh. The shadow is crazy, right? Now, I don't know what you guys see, but to you, does it look like the shadow is extending down the vent and going along the wall? in front of us or does it just look like the shadow is projecting in front of us like a ghost because it looks like the ladder to me and it's kind of creepy looking i don't know if that's just a play on the lighting or if it's the blurring or just the way the shadows are done it's kind of crazy like yeah it's it's in front of me it's it's sitting as like a 3d image because i'm walking through it it's like but it still looks like it's projecting out that way too Maybe it's something to do with the fact that this is being built, like the shadow is being generated by my flashlight. Hmm. You know what? I want to try something real quick. We look like we're doing great on resources. What I want to do is open this up and go with the NVIDIA recommended spec, since we do have hardware at the wazoo right now. And I want to turn up the shadow quality if we can. Oh, water reflections are on ultra already? When did that happen? Dynamic lights quality. Ultra. God rays. High brightness. Keep it where it's at. Filtering. Eh, yeah, sure. Jump it up. Why not? Apply. Alright, we should still be good. But everything I did just now did not change the way the shadow is rendered. Kind of interesting. Anyways, let's move on. Only I can't see the chat now. My bad. I lost you guys for a moment. Like a mother in the grocery store trying to secure her children. He survived, huh? Time to move on to plan B. So you admit that it was you trying to kill Future. Goodness gracious. I need to try the Sapporo Black. It's really good. Although if I had to choose, I'd drink nothing but Sapporo Reserve for the rest of my life. Ah, <clears throat> Wesley, what are you gaming on this morning? Or do you get any gameplay in the mornings? These days. Hey! People, Freeman. what's up? Good heavens! You gave me quite a scare. I'm gonna take the shotgun. On the cavalry, finding us down Dude, the this guy did some work. We gotta head for the surface. But with all the elevators on the border, we can still climb. You gotta get to the right store, Phobos. It takes some it takes some finding, but you can find it. Also, how about you guys? Right, I'll stay here. Stay this here, because like I don't know where I'm going, and I don't want to walk into an unsafe place and get you guys killed, because this looks like the cafeteria. Yeah. Glad I got this old side arm on the Wait a minute. Oh, if I had broken in from this way earlier, I wouldn't have been able to get past this door. I see. I was going to say, I could have come up here the whole time, but no, we couldn't have. We would have still had to get past the door. Oh! That was weird. Did you hear something? But now, let's get the hell out of here. Lead the way, Gordon. All right, let's go. Look at that, Q. Looks like you weren't in line. Oh shit! It's Future. Future has Hypnotic apologized to you yet? We're trying to get you sick, and then you not actually being sick. Yeah, we might stand a better chance if we team up. Though. Lead on, Freemans. 
Also, this is Source Engine, right? So I can have all these guys follow me at one time. So I've got three shooters and I've got two cheerleaders, pretty much. Yeah, we should be able to do this. Just hopefully we don't run into a turret and all these guys get killed at the same time. Hell yeah, ultimate Freeman posse, let's go. Uh, help, help, help. Oh no! What are y'all doing? What are you doing? Don't look up there, look at me. Sorry? What? Sorry didn't bring back our scientist. Oh my gosh. My dude. All right, you guys were witnesses. Are we going to go anytime soon? You just shut up for a second. You two, you were witnesses. You saw what happened. Right now we need every gun we can get. So we're not going to do anything. You keep your pistol. However, as soon as we get out of here, as soon as we get out of here, you two relieve him of his weapon, put him in the cuffs, and write down a report of what he did. Remember what he did this day. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's keep moving. Excuse me. Rest in peace, my dude. May your hair be forever balder. You ever seen anything like this? If not, it can't be a double agent. In order to be a double agent, you have to have the loyalty of your original country to begin with. You can't just be like working for the ah G-man. Sudden scary G-man appearance. Also, I believe there are Vortigaunts here. Which is not good because these guys won't survive long against Vortigaunts. I also think I picked up a grenade? Holy crap, that was a scary G-Man appearance. This increase in shadow quality was well worth the cost. Pick up your 2070 Super today. However, we have dropped down from 230 frames to about 200 frames average. So I'm sorry about that loss in quality. We are finding the source of a lot of that screaming and... Gnawing and mashing of teeth, though. That's good. Oh. The flashlight seems to have, like, this weird selective way that it works. Like, if I crouch down, I don't get any light production here. It's, like, coming out of my stomach or something. I think that's to do something with how the light is generated. Or the source engine. Or if they made some modifications to it. Because I don't remember having that issue in Half-Life 2 at all. In any case. Oh! Hey! Yeah, take the shot. I can't open the door, so I'm just gonna have to go in there and kill the thing. I'm wanting to play Dark Souls 3 and Sekiro? What's stopping you? Also, hey, we finally get a good look at these shotgun shells, even though I guess that's about as high res as the box gets, but we can say something pack? Maybe something buck? Or something pellet, maybe? If I already guess, I'd say it says 9 pellet, but it's too low res for me to tell. That says 12 gauge. That has some picture and some literature on it. Couple other numbers, nothing real special. And then we have the full head stamp on here. Although no actual like you know company head stamp, it just says shotgun shell 12 gauge. And it almost looks like the primers are popped, which might be why we can't pick this up, because this ammo is useless. So far you're not a fan of the 1911. The only fan needs a paper clip to take it apart. <laughs> Alright, the 1911 is it it's a venerable choice for its own thing, but you were born after the year 2000, future. Or were you? Were you born in like 99 or so? In any case, there's been 100 years of development past then, so it's okay if you pick up an old thing that's 100 years old and it's not quite up to snuff. But it does have some things that haven't changed since then, like the tilt lock design that eventually got adapted into the high power and then turned into the Glock. Uh, yeah, see how this is? The light comes out of, like, our stomach. So we have to get past our own arms in order to get projected, but it doesn't just, like, beam up something in front of me. I don't really like that. You've been burnt out with games? Eh? Take stuff slow as you can. Focus on your work and your school. Oh, no. Okay, so you guys are going to have to stay here while I go do some acrobatics. So. I think we're going to hold up here a bit. Yeah, you guys hold down the fort. All right, you scout on up ahead. Hopefully, you guys don't die by the time before I come back. Um, be careful of who you speak to up there. Yeah, I will be. If were to hear about this, it would be a media circus. 
Absolutely. That's a cool flavor text line for the situation. Does that mean you're not in the Rona Club? That means that you are not in the Rona Club. It is literally hypnotic by himself in the Rona Club. It's a one-man, he-man club up in there. How's the debugging procedure coming along? You're asking the guard? What? Sounds about right. Alright, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take the spooky ladder up after I make the jump. You guys are going to watch out for each other, except you. You need to watch out for you know who over there because uh, he's the only one here that killed a man. So you guys stay safe and make sure uh, you check that guy out. Don't let him do anything to you. Going on. I'll be back before you guys know it though, don't worry. Yay, we caught it like the last minute. What? Oh no! That guy's not gonna make it. <laughs> However, they did change the way this looked. In the original game, it would have been like impossible to save him. Now it's really impossible to save him, but you don't have to go on the ledge that he's on either. Uh, oh, maybe we're actually expected to be able to get over there. Yeah, they're really expecting us to get over there. Oh, oh no! I, I definitely did not contribute to him dying just now. <laughs> he definitely fell on his own and I did not stomp on his feet or anything after I missed my own jump. Didn't happen. I didn't have to, Future. I saved the bullet. <sighs> what is this? Okay, okay, okay. The damn, like, ladder ejection, like, you get forced away from a ladder when you get off of it. That is what really, like, messes with me. Oh, hello. The elevator did come down. But I'm not getting in that quite yet, because there's some other stuff to look out for here. I almost feel like I want to turn the brightness up, but I think this is just how it's supposed to be. Do you, are you guys good with the lighting? Can everyone see, like, okay? I don't know what the point of coming in here was. Maybe I could have grabbed this cable rope and used it to pull the guy up or something. I don't know. That would have been really extensive, and I don't think that's something that would have been possible. Uh, maybe this is just an easier way up in case you backtrack. Which is nice, because there are a lot of games that are linear these days that don't take into account like the stuff that was put together to make sure that players could backtrack all they wanted. This is a nicely padded elevator. Maybe I can take the elevator to go pick up our friends now. We've got hostiles. Oh, this is it. This is the famous part. We come out here. Yeah. Oh no! That guy gets pulled. That guy runs. He trips the tripwire and gets blown up. The whole security goes off. The so security got eaten in the security room. Silo doors are locked, but we know we need to go that way. And then that guy blew everything up and got everything shut down. But we're gonna recharge on our juice and everything good to go. Definitely cave that dude's skull in and the floor finish off the rest. I didn't kill him, the fall killed him. This has got that security glass on it, so nothing we can do about that. However, we can break this glass and trace the fire. And we can open up the fire door. Which is kind of confusing, because isn't the fire door supposed to stop fire? In case of a fire? But I guess if there was a fire and people need to get out, you would also need to open the fire door. So they can get away from the fire. But then you put the fire door back down so that the fire doesn't proceed, right? So like, it's kind of... Which, which is it? In any case, we know tripwires exist now, which I believe that was taken directly from the first game. As for these lasers here, I don't know if we can avoid them, but I think they're to teach you about gun turrets. Which we can see some over there. And I don't know if I can knock those turrets down without getting through this. Or, these are mines, and they just happen to be red instead of blue. In which case, I got the solution for that too. Those are not mines, so I wasted that grenade. That's all right, it's just one. And there are some turrets over here, so how about we throw a grenade at the turret? Didn't really do anything. Oh, 
No, that one's definitely doing something. Oh, and that teaches you that these things will shoot those guys. But we're also seeing these HECU Marines for the first time before we even have to fight them. I don't know if that was in the original game or not. I don't think so. But... Okay, that thing got knocked over. So the turrets, which were pretty cool on their own in the original Half-Life and then improved for Half-Life 2, they play more like Half-Life 2 here uh, with their rules just because, again, Source Engine. Is that Spider-Man? <laughs> Did you get that from Dylan, or did you find that somewhere else? By the way, you guys make sure to talk to Dylan. He hasn't he hasn't been seen since he did the 24-hour stream, and I worry about him. But I know he had a good time doing it, and it was a fun time, honestly. Alright, so now I can use the turret as my own personal gun, just like it's Half-Life 2 again. Though I think it would track me too, so I need to be careful about how I phase it. Yeah! Real strats over here. Alright, so there's a mine over there. I want to be careful. Let's leave the turret. Oh, wait. Okay, the turret won't see me, so. We'll leave it there while we look around the area. See if there's anything to pick up. A couple of grenades. Always a good choice. Did a no hit run of all the games in a single 12 4 hour setting. Indeed. I mean, all jokes aside, it was pretty cool that he really did finish that one game as a finale to all the Spider Man games he's been playing. And when he finished it, it was right at the, it was right at like the 25 hour mark. So it, literally it was the perfect game for a 24 hour stream. Q please, his clones will take us place. All right, real quick. I want to say something about Dylan. It's not mean, but it is kind of funny in a way that I'm not sure if he would care about or not. So someone look in the, someone do the forbidden which we will never do again, and look in the viewer list and see if Dylan's hanging around. Because if he is, we can't talk about it. But if he isn't, I'm going to tell you all the funniest thing I saw during that 24-hour stream. Are those massive ticks? Those are headcrabs, future. You remember back when we played the original Half-Life and I totally didn't kill that one scientist? Alright, so here's what we're going to do. Yeah, yeah! Whoa! Did that break the turret, too? It didn't! The turret's impenetrable. No, the turret's broken as hell, but I can still throw it in order to set mines off without getting blown up myself. Hey, here. So there was a point during the night where, you know, it's getting late and Dylan's girlfriend slash fiance obviously wants to go to sleep. And she had been hanging out, like sitting on the couch behind him, and she's like, you gonna be okay? You sure? You don't want anything? And she's like in her PJ, she's like standing real close to him on the chair, and she's like, kind of like being anxious, and I'm like... She's trying to pull him away from that computer to go have sex. And he's not going to do it because he's in the middle of a 24-hour stream. And the whole time, I'm thinking, does Dylan know what I know? I'm kidding. I have no way of knowing that. But I thought it was funny if you thought it that way. That's what it seemed like because she just kept bugging him. And I just thought it was hilarious. Oh, no. That didn't actually get set off. Okay, you know what? Can we duck under this one? Maybe we can just duck under this one. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, absolutely. He did a great job of it. He didn't do that thing that a lot of people do where he goes to sleep for like three hours and comes back and he's like, yep, 24 hour stream. Yeah. Not much is left of y'all after you get the double buckshot. That's 1832 caliber pellets, son. Future, if I put 18 32 caliber pellets side by side, how long will I get in caliber? Tell me, Future, I need to know. Don't do the math for him like you always do, AJ. This is a future problem. Oh, there you are. I was like, a new one came up in here. I just don't know where he's at. Also, if we had cafeterias and stuff this nice for this whole facility to eat in, what was with that one dude in the break room with the donuts and the casserole in the microwave? That that sucked compared to this. He should just be eating at these places. They got coffee, they got they got grape rudder, rudder grape, they got coca bola, <laughs> cola bola, and alpine hue. 
and all with these little paper cups they got all the chips they had fresh cut watermelon in the company like cafeteria what in the world and they got black mesa luna dark cola they had all this stuff oh my gosh are these the shadow oh whoa what is that from i think i just took damage because a plate fell on my tool A lot of people think that, Wester. It's, uh... And you know what? That comes to the same problem I was talking about when someone asked me about 9x18 versus 9x19 and Stalker. They're like, it's just one millimeter. What's the difference? And it's just the fact that uh, we've taken what are measurements and we've made those into names. But the names don't always mean those exact measurements. And they often mean more. Because, like, 127 by 25 millimeter is technically 50 caliber. It's half an inch in diameter, but it's not the same as 12.7 by 101 millimeter, which is also half an inch in diameter at the greatest point, right? Not the same thing, though. So, I did not say, ooh, don't you dare. Is it just me, or do you guys notice that the sporks all have, like, these crazy shadows on them? Like, way more than a spork should have. I wonder why that is. I wonder if that was something in Source Engine back then, or if this is just in Black Mesa. I mean that kind of bugs me because I'm like we don't need we don't need spork shadows. I don't know how much my VRAM you're taking up to give me spork shadows, but I'm gonna be all right. Like uh, I'll be I'll live. One thing I haven't seen that I miss from the original game are the roaches that you would see crawling around in the vending machines. I guess they decided they didn't want to do that. That's unfortunate. Why would those be glow sticks feature? You think they're just having raves up in their... Ooh. Turret. You think they're just having, like, sweet rave parties up in their cafeteria? No, what's going on here? Oh, I can't climb that and go up there. This is just... Some other shit. Interesting that they made that, like, swingy when they really didn't need to. So, we got options. We could throw some explosives over there and set it off and destroy these turrets. Or, we can jump this sensor and take those turrets and set them up for ourselves what's going on Val? don't you try to sneak in here all lurky lurky you know what's up it's good to see you though Val. always a pleasure what's going on with you uh let's set up some turrets oh for our own usage you know what oh that one sees me okay here's what we'll do we'll set up a turret behind us in case someone wants to come from behind and then we'll carry this one with us as our own personal weapon. Oh, like that! Vortigaunts! Wow, turret actually does pretty well against them. More so than other weapons I had access to. Alright. We might get more of that later, so let's be careful. Also... Empty? What? These things never go empty when I want to use them. Or when I'm the one getting shot up. That is kind of cool that they can go empty. That one's error, so it's just broken. And even with all of my PhDs, I can't fix it. And this one's just actually out of ammo, though it did net me three kills, so that's pretty cool. What are you up to today, Val? Also, Val, uh, and everyone else, did you guys all vote on what kind of bracelets you want? Make sure to hit exclamation point vote so you can see the bracelet stuff. I need to order those tomorrow or tonight, the beats. And then I'll take some time to put together the beads. If I use about 20 beads per, that's 30 bracelets. And if it's about 300 foot of line and I use half a foot of line, that's like 600 bracelets. So yeah, <laughs> we're going to have way more line than we have beads, which means we should be able to make, what, around... 30 bracelets to start with, and then we can get more beads for other people later if we want to. Still mad Wood is winning? What's wrong with Wood? <laughs> or do you just have a different preference, is what you're telling me. Oh, what? It took one hit from a head crab and it went down? Alright, I had to kill that turret because I was getting messed up and I'm all shot up now. You voted? Nice. That Uh... Crap. <laughs> I was like, I was about to say Prosti, but Prosti is sorry. 
I think we had that conversation before. We're just gonna say prosti for like everything, even though it's just sorry. Just like a lot of dudes from Western Europe come to the US and they just start saying sorry for everything because they're not sure what else to say. Which was something I didn't understand until I got older and I realized like, yeah, if I didn't speak English or I didn't speak the native language where I was, which has often been the case, I would probably say sorry a lot if that was the one word I knew. Uh, looks like y'all set up your security pretty good. I'm just trying to figure out how to get over there safely. I do like that you guys acknowledge me. That's nice of you. Oh! Oh no! The water makes you slip for some reason, like it's ice. You don't slog around in it. You slide on water. I don't know how that works, but whatever. Can you have a jade beaded bracelet with gold? Sure, if I can afford... If you want to buy those beads, Future, you send them to me. And I'll make them instead. But I think most people are just going to have a basic bracelet. And we're all going to have the same one. It's cheaper that way to just buy them all in bulk. Bulk? Bulk. Oh, no, no, no! Death. <laughs> I was trying to get a side from there, but I don't think I got the run-up I wanted. No! Yeah, and that time I hit the wall. That didn't work. Oh, I think I can do it. Y'all think I can do it? You gotta believe. I'm not getting the jump either, which is part of the problem. So I'm not hitting the ladder the way I want to. Ah! Seriously, I'm hitting that corner and it's like screwing up my whole flow here. Yeah! No! You, you can't actually climb the ladder. What is this jankiness, Black Mesa devs? Cowards won't give me a real ladder to climb in midair. Alright, too easy. And then we just... I think I remember in the original game just accidentally killing these guys with a grenade while I was trying to knock turrets over. Yeah, easy. Also, if I turn this towards you guys, will you guys get shot? Oh, you will! My bad, my bad, my bad! No, sorry, sorry! Uh, uh. This is not going well. Okay, what's up? Ooh, there are dead people here, and G-Man is here! G-Man, I found you! Oh, hey, his... His body model can actually bleed. Don't you think we should That's interesting. He probably has unlimited health, or doesn't take any damage at all, or doesn't even have, like, a life. But they gave him an actual body model. Um that will bleed when you put bullets in it. That's interesting. Also, you know what I just noticed? No, never mind. Sorry, I was looking too into it. They did some really good texturing on the Glock, and it looks like maybe it was updated, and they did a stippled model? Am I missing that? Or is this like a Gen 4 Glock, whereas the original one and the period-appropriate one would have been like a Gen 2 uh, Glock 17? But it's almost like the way that this looks on a stippled. I wish I could hit. Oh, you can. What? Wait, did I just do that or was that the idle animation? I was tapping L at the same time, but I think that was just the idle animation. I don't think you can manually make those things. Did you hear that? Wait, wait, wait. hold up. That's semicolon? Can I do it? No, this is just timing. So yeah, I think that they actually chose a newer Glock model for this. That's interesting. In any case, the problem is I can't take those guys with me because there are mines out here in front. And I don't want them to get killed, and I don't want them to get me killed. G-Man's G-Vincible, and dude, J-Vincible, as we say it. Uh, so I have to get past these mines. I don't want these guys to die, and I don't know if I need these guys later. Or if they were just here to show me the desperation of the situation. And G-Man's gone. That's pretty cool how the radio changes over like that. And I mean, it's hard to believe that anyone would be playing this instead of Half-Life for the first time, so they wouldn't know where the story is going. But I, I would have liked it if they were a little bit more subtle about the appearance of the military and what was going to happen. Um, like the original game kind of was. I always love the 60 second gaming sum up of... <laughs> Half-Life, where it's like, yeah, the military's been watching sci-fi movies, so you know exactly what their role is in a situation like this. <laughs> Come in, kill everybody, and nuke everything, and forget. <laughs> mm, 
All right, we got shotgun shells. We got a little bit of got a little bit of energy for our suit. Keep us safe from bullets. Not that we have to worry about bullets because no one's going to be shooting at us, right? I do think that what this game does illustrate, like a lot of the indie games illustrate too, the ones that are built up out of source mods, is that this particular physics system is cool. But without... Uh-oh. Now this happens. So, military comes in, they kill my scientist, bro. Oh! He threw a grenade up here! But it's only one dude, so I could take him on my own. I think originally it was like three or four. What was I talking about before this? Facility of the military, the marines like coming into the Black Mesa facility, the government knowing its role because of movies and stuff like that. What else was I saying? I thought I had something important to say on the way up here. Get some? Yeah, I'm always saying get some. Oh, the mods, the various mods, the indie games, and everything else that's built off the Source Engine. As well as this game being the original Half-Life, or as close as you can get to it, but built in Half-Life 2's engine, shows a lot of how, yeah, that game would have been fun, but without the gravity gun, I don't think they would have hit that monumental bit. So, yeah, this physics system is great, but if they didn't have some way of capitalizing on it with the combat system, it wouldn't have just been, like, everything lined up. And I think we see that in a lot of games. Like, uh... The glory kill and like the recharge, regeneration and recharge system that you get in Doom 2016 that carried over to Doom Eternal. Where it's like, yeah, you have certain moves you need to do to kill enemies to get ammo, and other ones to replenish health, and you need to balance them so you can keep going. We saw that in Warhammer Space Marine, Warhammer 40k Space Marine. But the game itself wasn't built perfect, but it had a feature that wasn't perfectly surrounded by the gameplay, but worked pretty well. And when you take it and you improve it and you actually build some gameplay around it, you get something a bit more memorable and a bit more impactful, right? But I think that's a big testament to like why Valve does what they do with Portal and with uh, Half-Life Alex and with Half-Life 2. I don't think they really want to push anything unless they can really... Ooh, we did get that MP5. I wish I could unlock my head so I could look at the gun a little bit more. I'm a little bit too wrapped up on Tarkov. And it is the MP5 with the 203 attached. It does look way better than in the original game. I will say that. But it looks like they put the 20 round mag in instead of the 30 rounder. I have to see a body model to compare. And it looks like... Uh, no, sorry, I didn't have anything else to say. Look like... Oh, they added the rails. And it looks like we won't be getting that M4 after all. Now... While I do prefer the M4... Oh, hey, we can see it from here. That's definitely the 30-round magazine. Maybe it's just because of the curvature and me looking up at it at an angle. It looks like a 20-rounder in here. So, and then that's a big boy magazine that looks like it doesn't fit in there at all. What was I going to say? Oh, so while I prefer the M4 as a skin... Oh, hey, look, we have 30 rounds instead of 50 rounds, like in the original game. Uh, the MP5 makes a lot more sense when it comes to it sharing ammo with the pistol. Maybe this wasn't a magazine that I was supposed to pick up. No, it's definitely a magazine. I'm going to put it here in case I have to shoot. Then I can take it with me. <laughs> and I'm not firing this grenade launcher. Not right now. But yeah, your Glock 9mm, MP5 9mm. How do they magically share ammo between each other, between magazines, who knows, but at least they are the same caliber, so that made sense. Once you had the M4 that you were running with the same ammo as your handgun, which was the Beretta 92, with the high-grade graphics. The HD graphics pack. Crazy what was called HD back then, by the way. That's grenade. I don't know what the shrapnel physics are like in Source Engine. I really don't. I do know that this thing is a lot more laser-like than I thought, and it's got that same little blue bullet thing going on from Half-Life 2, 
that they had on the turrets. I expected it with the turrets. I did not expect it with the MV5. Oh! My cover! <laughs> That's a grenade. I should probably get close to that guy to take him out. I think I'm wasting a lot of ammo like that. Oh, look, we have a flanking route. That's pretty cool. That's stuff that wasn't really in the original Half-Life. I doubt a lot of people would agree with me, but I've always looked at the original Half-Life, and I, while I find the combat interesting and fun, and the AI had some AI to it, which was something we hadn't seen until that point, I never really felt like the enemy placement in accordance with how the levels were laid out, I never felt like that was as good as the original Quakes were. Hello, Alex. How are you doing? It has been quite some time. What are you up to these days? I'm glad to have you with us. But yeah. There are some key points because... Okay, before, like, every single game had, like, scripted events that were these... Oh yeah, you're gonna do these cool things as this, like, falls into place. Right? Before that was a completely normal thing in almost every game you played. Half-Life kind of, like, brought that to the forefront. These little scripted events that you would play through and, like... Things would pop out at a certain time and it would help tell a story without breaking you down into a cutscene. And that was cool. But... I feel that that kind of placement, where you are placing enemies in an environment to appear at certain times and drive the scripted element of the game, I feel like that is not the same as placing enemies into a certain environment where it's like, yo, you're going to have a good-ass fight because there's going to be routes that go here and you're going to have to make these decisions, the enemies are going to do this, or they have a few options of doing these things. It's going to be dope. I feel like those are two different kinds of enemy placement when it comes to level design integration with enemy placement. That's just me, the fledgling game designer Q. How you doing, Jesse? Good to see you. I was with Sammy last night while he was playing some Yakuza's, and I was like, Drizzy should be here. Drizzy would love this. Also, something came up where I was like, yeah, Drizzy got a bullpup. I'm alright, Jess. Thanks for, for asking. Drizzy, did you uh, vote on bracelet color? Make sure you go to exclamation point vote so you can go to the poll. And we can decide what kind of beads we're going to... Oh my gosh, look at... Westy! Westy, get your bag! We got PC parts. We got we got old school AMD cooler. Oh, yo, what is this board? The CPU is like all on one side, and then the RAM's like kind of in the middle. Ah, dude, one of those websites. I was like this cool ass dual socket core thing, or dual core socket motherboard, which I've never built on because I was very young when those were all the rage, and I was looking at it and I was like, oh, what? It's been too hot to play in VR. You got sucked into Assassin's Creed Origins. I'm playing the hell of it. Nice. I have been slowly but surely collecting all of the Assassin's games on sale so that I can go through the entire series of the game the way I'm doing with Stalker and Resident Evil as well. That's the new 3080. <laughs> I am a GTX 3080! <laughs> Sorry, that's a reference that no one gets unless you're a loser like me. I was, Alex. You missed out on it, but it is on the YouTubes if you wanted to check it out sometime. Where am I in Stalker? Oh, where am I in Stalker? We beat Shadow of Chernobyl, Vanilla, and we will be starting Clear Sky. Probably after Black Mesa is done. Oh. All military personnel, extreme, atomic, biological, chemical, alert. Hope this isn't. Oh! <laughs> I was gonna say, I hope this doesn't hurt me from there, and then, yeah. Also, what the hell happened to this bridge, or this, like, lack of bridge here? <laughs> Physics. 
Can I use this as like a walking platform to feel a little safer? Or is it just gonna flip me off like it almost did earlier? If I shoot the fire door from here, can I have it open up without me going towards it? Because I really don't want to go towards the mines and stuff, but I want to leave those up so that enemies can run into them. Why don't we just set it off and see what happens? Oh no, this is... never mind. What gets referred on your GBA? A battery pack, but they're sold out everywhere. Is it just the standard GBA, Jersey? If I was near mine, I would have given you one out of the ones I have with cracked screens. Um, I don't know if they're still good. But surely it can't be hard to get the right batteries and just wire them up together and then run them through a wire and do the damn thing, right? Or are you trying to do, like, a rechargeable battery pack, one of those? You definitely didn't get that reference. Good to know I'm not a loser like you. <laughs> oh, my feelings. Hypnotic, I'm a person too. You hurt me, Hypnotic. <laughs> uh, whatever. We're both men. We both have penises. We don't talk with our feelings. We talk with our feelings. You're gonna get a recharge one? Okay, that's why. I was about to say, I was like... Getting battery pack for the GBA shouldn't be that hard. But you're going through all that trouble for the standard? Bruh. Nah. I'm just saying I was one- Oh my gosh, that thing was ripping threads. I'm just saying I was one of the kids that suffered through with a... Standard GBA and then everyone else got the SP and if I could go back in time... I would have made sure that I never got the GBA. Especially not at double the price when it was sold out. Because my dad was awesome like that. And I would have waited for the SP. So the fact that you're going backwards, I feel a little, I feel a little strange. That being said, you got an IPS display for your GBA. Oh my gosh, is it backlit? <laughs> Turret maintenance thing. It's gonna. Okay, never mind. You're right. That's awesome. Okay, a cla uh, the original GBA, IPS display backlit. That's gonna be sweet, dude. Drizzy. I know you have sex. Even if you weren't married. I know Drizzy gets laid, because Drizzy has an awesome idea for his build. Everdrive. Is that like one of those media carts that you just rip your ROMs into? Because I honestly couldn't see anyone doing a, con a uh, rebuild of a... I couldn't see anyone modern day doing a rebuild of a portable console without doing that. Because otherwise, like, why wouldn't you just do one of the handheld 50 to 100 dollar android tablets that'll play everything from nes up to ps1 so it's like if you're not gonna rip a bunch of stuff to get your nintendo stuff in there it's like what's the point you end up playing all your gba games on emulator absolutely and that's honestly the best way to play them i mean you could be like me and buy a bunch of games that don't work and have to emulate them anyways or you can just buy it, get them on emulator because they're older and it's a lot easier to run off your computer locally. But if you want some cool stuff as a project to work on, which we all like working on projects like this PC that I'm going to work on and give away. Um, it's always nice to see what kind of creative stuff you can come up with. Like a GBA with an IPS display. That's I didn't even think that. <laughs> Mom, I want to buy Black Mesa. We have Black Mesa at home. Black Mesa at home. Half-Life 1. <laughs> Not even with the HD graphics, just straight up 1997, like, polygonal, modified Quake Engine graphics. How are you doing, Nuba? Good to see you. <laughs> oh! I had grenades here the whole time. I'm throwing grenades at everything now. This isn't fair. I was out shooting him and everything. You know what I forgot? I forgot I had an MP5. I could have been out shooting him a lot more strongly. And I could have been riding this conveyor belt while I did it. I do feel like maybe it's just because I've been playing more modern games. But the source lighting, I feel like, is not as strong as it could be. Like, I wish it was stronger. That or this part of the game is just supposed to be dark. What do you guys think? Do you think it looks good enough? Do you think it's supposed to look like this? Should we turn up the gamma or the brightness a little bit? What do you think? Did I forget the old adage? A grenade a day keeps the enemy at bay. <laughs> You know what you also forgot? A shotgun? I never forget the shotgun. I just like to bring it 
to the right time of the party. You can't just bring out the shotgun at any time of the party. Because then sometimes you bring out too early and the party is over. You know what I'm saying? It's got to be at the right time. Regretting life choices in 4, 3, 2, 1. What, when I threw the grenade? Nuva, would you like- Oh, no! Nuva, would you like a free bracelet? Make sure you guys vote on the bracelet thing for those of you guys that don't know about it. Everyone's getting one for free if they want one. But we need to decide on what material to get. So hit exclamation point vote to bring up that poll. We only have like less than a day to- Oh, no! <laughs> Why did I think that would work? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, what if we throw it past that and then we let it come back up the conveyor belt? That'll work, right? Yeah, that worked a little too well, in fact. And I think it may have killed those scientists that were down there. Take me with you. I'm the one man that knows something. Nope. Those guys are definitely killing the scientists. What is kind of crazy is they don't have like a separate routine. So they don't have a just execute scientist routine. They have a combat routine. So they're like running around maneuvering being all crazy just to kill unarmed scientists sometimes. And I do remember walking into this room in both the original game and Black Mesa and just being like overwhelmed with firepower. Which is fine because I really like what this did for the game. It changed what this game is about. And the whole aspect of shooting at other people, shooting at you in this like kind of high fidel- Oh, that guy got jellied. Straight up strawberry preserves, son. But that whole thing about getting in fights with guys like this. Having cover to go around dynamically, them moving on you, talking to each other. Or they didn't really talk to each other, but they gave the semblance that their AI was talking to each other. The Half-Life AI was dumber than a lot of people give it credit for, but that was part of the reason that made it so cool, was that on limited technology and limited programming, that they were able to give people the semblance of being very, very smart. And I always thought that was great. The HECU straight up lied to the scientists that they were a rescue team. Did they, though? I've never seen them say that. I've seen the scientists and... Or, or did they say that on the radio, is what you mean. Because I've always seen the scientists and the guards... Hey, a voltimeter. I could use that. Do you guys ever see things in games and you're like, Oh, I need that in real life. Or you see something in real life, you're like, Oh, I need that in that game. That does make sense, though, Nuva. I guess from my perspective in-game, I've always seen the scientists and the security guards kind of assume that the military was coming and that they were on their side. And the military just comes in and kills everyone. Whoa! What was that? Surely that wasn't the grenade launcher. That's not how grenades work. It seemed like it, Nova. That might just be the way the grenades are in this game. Which is also not how grenades work, but neither is the method by which the grenades work in the original Half-Life and in Half-Life 2, where they just kind of like tumble loosely if someone just like toss them. They're so weird. What are you playing lately, Nova? I mean, I guess we'll find out once we get some grenades and we shoot one and we see if that's how it acted or not. But it seemed very propelled, like a rocket or missile would be. I do not deny that. Woo! Slid on you, son. Alright, let's, uh, let's get recoup. All the scientists are dead. Some dead stuff down there, not worried about it. I'm I'm starting to play like a competitive shooter now, and I feel like I shouldn't be doing that. My bad, guys. I'll play it a little bit more immersively. I do like that they- oh! Hello! They left MP5 magazines just sitting out everywhere. Preloaded, in fact. That, that's cool. They brought in a lot of equipment in there pretty quickly. <laughs> Sight, that's the wrong number! <laughs> and then like, switches to full auto. <laughs> what I meant though was still like, even lying to them and, you know... Saying all the stuff that they were gonna rescue them. I still feel like the tactics they're using were as if they were up against another military force or they knew they were gonna fight aliens because they brought in a lot heavier firepower, they brought in all these turrets and they're being super aggressive, whereas I mean, take any trained military person 
One, you'd have to assume that they're psychopathic enough to say, like, oh, I'm going to kill innocent civilians, no problem, even though they're not shooting at me. That's... You, you don't find people like that all the time. That's movie shit, or that's, like, fanatic shit. And they usually don't believe that everyone's innocent. Two, it, you wouldn't have to be doing all this maneuvering and aggression. you just sit up in the hallway and start shooting anybody that comes nearby, and you just chill out. Make a picnic out of it, you know? What's up, Colin? Are the crabs clacking, my boy? Also, damn, I had my crab to show you. And I done put it away somewhere, and I don't know where it's at. But we'll get to that another time. It's on the project list. Definitely a tank. I prefer my weapons of mass destruction not to be sitch. I was looking at the T-34 in the, other, in the game the other day, and I was like, you know, I need that IRL. Oh, the calculator? Or are you talking about something else? Oh, T-800 Terminator. Okay. You guys are wild, but I love you. I love every one of you. Also, do any of you guys know someone that needs a decent-ish gaming PC that they can also use for school and other things in their life? I don't mean someone like Westy that can obviously build their own PC. They just need to get off their butt. I mean, like, someone that's like, yo, I want to play games and I'm not on every single Twitter post by NZXT asking for a free computer. Because after we build this thing, we're gonna need someone to give it away to. Otherwise, I'm just gonna end up with a pile of budget PCs and nothing to do with them. Oh! I wasn't paying it. That's gosh darn it. I wasn't paying attention! Now I'm getting shot from the back. You know I don't like it from the back. I don't care what Hypnotic told you. He don't know me like that. Whoa! Oh, my goodness. Letting them have it with both barrels definitely gets the giblets. The eye is never that bright in enemy distinction. They just immediately switch to battle mode and start attacking and moving. Indeed. And again, that's not something I would legitimately complain about. I just thought it was interesting that because they only have one mode. You only ever see them going after scientists the same way they would go after Freeman. That's good, Weston. That's good. I was just making fun of you for no reason. I'm glad you can take a joke. The same way a hypnotic can take a blunt instrument. Pretty sure if I jump down there, I might be stuck down there. Oh, yeah. This is where we came from. Oh, you know what? This is the area. So, in Mind of Freeman, and in the original game, this ledge that we see up here, see how high we are? It's actually only, like, a little handrail right here. And it's way close to the ground, so in the mind of Freeman, he actually just jumps up here and just, like, skips the whole section. <laughs> Which is funny. And I guess they took that to heart when they did Black Mesa, and they made sure that that wasn't something you could feasibly achieve. So there's that bigger fence, and it's higher off the ground and everything. Makes sense. Get that good uh, health group in us. Woo! The moment you take those scientists for granted, though, that's when one of them pulls out a grenade. <laughs> I wish. Future knows what we do to scientists that don't stay in their place. Ain't that right, Future? Tell them. Tell them about it, Future. Also, can I... Oh, I don't even need to get all the way up there. I just saw the rechargeable, or the battery, and I was like, yeah, I want that. Shot that poor man. Look, he might have been poor in money because he works for the military, but he was definitely rich in violence because he shot at me first. Or are you talking about the other thing? Because that didn't actually happen. That's just something Future remembers. Still play Half-Life, so I do remember the maps and such things. So it's cool. Feel free to point out when you remember something that is definitely different in this game because sometimes I forget which one was original and which one was actually in the game. And, you know, since we played this stuff as kids, what stuff you're just kind of making up in your head? Well, it's a good thing they're on your hard drive, Hypnotic. My my uh, drone laden, my magnet laden drones, shall be on the way ever so quickly.
Uh oh, we got cool nerd techno music. Okay, I should probably actually focus, I'm not dying. Oh uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, I admit, I shot first on that one. Underhand! This is pretty cool, but also, like, overwhelming. <laughs> Oh, that day. I'm so low on health. <laughs> health? Is there health here? Yo, this music is at 45% and it is still this loud. Also, I have a weight in my lap, and I'm holding it up with my feet right now. And if I happen to slip, it's probably going to fall on my toes, and it's going to hurt quite a bit. Hell Station. Remember, switching to your we <laughs> secondary weapon is faster than reloading. In some cases. Yeah, okay, why don't y'all leave me in here? What them goodies up? Y'all didn't leave any rifles around, no? Come on. <laughs> He's yelling at me, you got nothing. Well, come get some of this nothing, then. Oh! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's getting shot down. What is shooting down? Uh, what is shooting down their aircraft? Also, what is shooting at me? I took a lot of damage coming out here, and I don't think I made a good choice. If I remember the first game, there's a certain spot where you need to run to in order to be safe. But we didn't exactly do that this time around. But we're getting there, and now we're in there. But I kinda wanted to pick up more ammo and stuff, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh, yeah, we're gonna hurt. It's time to go. It's definitely time to leave. And then that gets collapsed on and we don't go back up. Your fruit slicing skills are remarkable. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, is that weight vaguely dog-shaped, <laughs> No, it is this weight. Iggy's on a bed somewhere. Iggy literally just rotates through all the beds in the house when he realized he lived in a house that had so many beds when he's not just living with me anymore. And he's like, oh my gosh, there's so many beds. There's so many people to give me treats. Iggy lives like a king these days. Like a king. What's up, Rika? Speaking of kings. Yo, it's all dark again, man. This game sucks. It's all scary. Everything is always breaking apart. Damn, low quality game. Oh no! Oh, I wasn't ready. And now I'm really hurt. Last night you watched a movie that starred Soap's VA. Really? Is he uh, very like athletic in real life? Also, right now it's 9.30, and I need to go to the restroom, so how about we take a tea and music and restroom break, and then we'll get back to our Black Mesa. Does that sound good to you guys? Be right back.